EA Sports. It's in the game. MVP Baseball 2005. Hello and welcome to Miller Park. Hi again everybody and welcome. I'm Dwayne Kuyper and it's another great night for baseball. Partner, are you ready for this one? I sure am, Kite. This is going to be a great matchup. Here's the starter, Ben Sheets. Welcome to an exhibition game that features the Chicago White Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers. The game's first batter is Scott Pesednik. And the game's underway with that pitch. This guy has two out pitches. Low strike with the changeup. The grounds crew has done an outstanding job today. Check out the checkerboard field. Lee snares it for the out. Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner. Giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. This batter pounds the ball off right-handed pitchers. Kike, his quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. He brings to the table a four-seam fastball, a change, and a two-seamer. He induced the pop-up. He retires the side in order. Here's how the host lineup for this game. Starting on the hill for the visitors, Mark Burley. Bill Hall. But it's a foul ball. In tight. That was a purpose pitch. He was trying to get the batter to chase. There's a line drive. He reaches with a leadoff single. Got a good pitch to hit right there, and he put it in the outfield for a single. Coming to the plate, Junior, he goes to first. Nope, missed for a ball. And the count is 2-0. Oh. This count could be a perfect time to hit and run. The pitcher cannot afford to throw a ball here, so the batter's going to get something good to hit. He tries to keep him close with a throw over to first. Two ball, two strike count. The ball, what a play! Got him for a double play. Flawless execution right there on the double play. Stepping in, Lyle Overbay. Two outs. It's a bit high, 1-0. This guy has five pitches in his repertoire. Misses two balls and no strikes. Hey, when the cutter's coming over the plate, the batter does not have a chance. Got him swinging. After one inning, the game is scoreless. 
Up next, Aaron Rowan. This batter's been known to go on streaks versus right-handed pitching. Sheets delivers, and it's one and one. This guy has four pitches to choose from. He delivered a 98-mile-an-hour fastball but missed the zone for a ball. Good pitch, strike. When you throw strikes with your other pitches, that curveball really becomes an effective weapon. In the air foul, but there's room to make a play. He catches it in foul territory. That'll bring up Joe Creedy. It's hit out to left. And the catch is made by Lee. Look, if he had a good pitch to hit, but just didn't get good wood on it. The fielder made an easy play. This guy is okay against right-handed pitching. A strike thrown by Sheets. His strongest pitch is the four-seamer. Strike called. He threw a good pitch. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Heading into the bottom of the inning, no score here. Digging in, Carlos Lee. Misses for a ball. Threw that slider hard off the plate, but the batter would not bite at it. There's a drive, headed way back, and it's gone. I thought the thing was going to leave the yard all together. What a shot! <laughs> Jenkins makes his way to the plate. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. He made contact, but it's foul. Just missed the corner. He hits it to short. He'll pick it up on a roll. One out. Uribe made a nice throw right there, straight and right on the target. Clark takes his turn. Burley misses, and the count is 1-0. Partner, that curveball wasn't very effective at all. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. Gets the strikeout. Now batting, Wes Helms. This guy has some success against left-handed pitchers. In there for a strike. His pitches consist of a four-seamer and a decent changeup and a pretty nice curveball. Two outs. He comes up a little bit short. That'll do it for the Brewers in the second. Score one that half inning. Next up, A.J. Pierzynski. This left-handed batter is still looking to develop consistency against right-handed pitching. Got him. Next at the plate, Willie Harris. Hey, partner, this dude could fly. Infielders have to be on their toe and alert for the bunt. 
Zero bite on that curveball. He just missed it. That's a one-out single. Stepping in, Mark Burley. First pitch. He tries the push bunt. They get the out on the play. Well, not the best throw I've ever seen, partner, but they were able to record the out. That'll bring up Scott Pesednik. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. Change misses downstairs. Close pitch right there, but the batter let it go by, and the umpire called it a ball. He inside outs it to the left side. And he's out. Going into the bottom of the third, the score is one to nothing. Ball. Umpire calls ball. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. He hits one on a line the other way. He's around first. And he's there safely. They needed a big hit like that. This guy's got things going. What a good piece of hit. He got himself a double. Here's Ben Sheets. Dummies a bunt. Burley deals the ball. It's 1-0. They need to move that runner over to third base right here. That batter needs to get a ball. He can drive to the right side. Looking for the base hit bunt. Out on the play. That pitcher really got off the mound in a hurry. That was a good play and a pretty good bunt. Now batting, Bill Hall. Sends it foul. No balls, two strikes to count. He yanks a grounder to the left side. They get the second out. Creedy made it look easy on that out at first, Kai. Coming to the plate, Junior Spivey. He's going back at the track, the wall, touch them all! Put a two spot on the scoreboard, big boy. He did well there not to drive in the only run, but to drive himself in as well. Over Bay is up. In there for a strike. Hey, there's no saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, mate. He's going back at the track, the wall, and it's gone. As a batter, you've got to take advantage when the pitcher miss executes. Sends this pitch to center. That'll do it for the inning. Side retired. With three innings played, the Brewers lead by four runs. Next up, Juan Uribe. Shortstop. Juan Uribe. 
ball. That's a ball. That pitch sailed way out of the strike zone. The batter took it for an easy ball. Ball missed inside. That changeup could have been called either way, but it went the batter's favor. Ball. Pitch misses. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Should get a good pitch to hit, 3-1. He looked like he was surprised by that pitch. There's a line oh. drive. He takes the walk. Walks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the at-bat. That'll bring up Paul Konerko. The runner is trying for second. And he's safe just ahead of the throw. Hey, Kite, that runner had an enormous lead over there. He gets an easy steal. Wake up, meat! He pulls one on a line. Throws to the cutoff man. There's a run. That's an RBI single. He didn't really do anything special on that swing. He put the bat on the ball and it didn't get caught. Scored a single. Digging in, Aaron Rowan. Line drive right to the second baseman. He's on first with a base hit. Here's Joe Creedy. Runners on first and second, nobody out. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground. Goes to second with a pickoff throw. Three. Swings at the pitch and misses. Better had no choice right there. Take it, and it's a strike. What a sweet pitch. He sends it foul to the left. He winds and he throws. The count's one and two. A liner. He reaches with a base hit. He did a great job of shorting up there with two strikes and get a hit. Stepping in, Jermaine Dye. Taken for a ball. The ball is hit out towards third base. And they make the play for an out. Cut that double play with smooth as silk, just like they practice it, big boy. The next batter is A.J. Pierzynski. He hits it to center. That's the third out with one man left the board. Going into the bottom of the fourth, the score is four to two. Jeff Jenkins. Got there on the mound with no stuff. Laid off that one for a ball. Taken for a ball. The pitcher and catcher seem to think they're going to get these guys to chase pitches way out of the zone. Three ball count. Pitcher threw a poor slider right there, and the batter had no choice but to let it go by. He puts the first runner on with a walk. There's a very good example of a guy being patient. Saw a lot of pitches and drew a well-earned walk. Coming to the plate, Brady Clark. 
Ball low. And it's grounded to the second baseman. They get the double play. That's the third double play of the game for Milwaukee. Cut that double play with smooth as silk, just like they practice it, big boy. Now batting Wes Helms. And the delivery. The pitch is hit up the middle. There's a single. He steps in with one base hit already today. And that's the final out of the inning with one man left stranded. With four innings played, Chicago trails by two. Up next with a single already this game, Willie Harris. He might be able to beat out a bunt if he takes a look at the infield. He makes the catch over his shoulder. Oh, man, a pitcher loves it when plays like this are made behind him. One ball and no strikes. Nobody on, one out. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. Lifts one to left. Lee will get there. And he puts this one away. Nothing special about that one. He just picked up the ball, got a beat on it, made the play. Here's a guy you don't want on base because he can fly. Swing and a miss on the hook. He yanks a ground ball to the right side. Sets them down in order. Going into the bottom of the fifth, Milwaukee leads by two. Next up, Ben Sheets. Swing and a miss. Kai, I still think fastball changeup is the best combination in baseball. Down he goes on strikes. Partner, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Stepping in, one for two, Bill Hall. He's just got a piece of it. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Part of that fastball looked a little flat. This guy could be running out of steam. Hey, there's no old saying in baseball, big boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging the bat, meat. Heads up! He plunked him. He's rushing out to the mound. Digging in, Junior Spivey. Defense has to be thinking two right now on a hard hit ground ball, Kai. He keeps him honest with a throw over to first. Ground ball pulled down to the left side. The runner goes hard into second. That's the fourth double play of the game for Milwaukee. Kai, that double play was smooth as silk, just like they practice it, big boy. With four innings remaining, the Brewers lead by a pair of runs. Stepping in, Juan Uribe. Hit to the left side. They make the play. The White Sox have activated the bullpen.
Konerko comes to the plate. That one splits the outfielders. He goes in standing with a double. Batters at this level will turn mis-executed pitches into hits all the time. The White Sox have a righty and a lefty getting ready in the bullpen. Stepping in, one for two, Aaron Rowan. That one splits the outfielders. A run crosses the plate. RBI double. Skipper's going to love that. Drive in one and set yourself up in scoring position for another. That's the third run allowed by Sheets. There's an out. Branyan made him look easy on that out at first, Kite. Up next, Jermaine Dye. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Oh. This guy needs to help out his ball club. Let's see if he can take advantage of this runner on second with a base hit. It's fouled off the catcher. There's a line drive. He's around third. And the run comes home. That's an RBI double. Hey, he does a great job of knocking the run. And look at this. They're still threatening. And that's another run surrendered by Sheets. Looks like they didn't want any part of that guy, Kai. Stepping in, one for two, Willie Harris. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. That'll do it with runners stranded on first and second. Score two that half inning. That'll bring up Lyle Overbay. Uribe makes the routine catch. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Lee, what a play. Two out. Batter is Jeff Jenkins. He's sprinting. There's a line drive. He's on first with a base hit. Good piece of hit right there. It's a P that nobody had a chance to make a play on. The ball is hit towards first. The side is retired with one runner stranded. With six innings played, this contest is tied. The White Sox are going to the bench. And the delivery. Thomas gets even at one and one. Kind of looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Slices foul. Turnbow is throwing out in the bullpen. Sheets delivers on the one and two. And the pitch. Thomas takes and is high for a ball. And he delivers. Three two count. He's walked by Sheets. That walk could be the start of something good right here. Next at the plate, Scott Pesednik. Well, the defense has got to be on their toes, and they have to be ready for the sacrifice bunt right here. Fastball low. 
He delivers 1-0. The left fielder makes the catch. Now batting Juan Uribe. Well, the defense has got to be on their toes, and they have to be ready for the sacrifice bunt right here. There's a drive. No one's going to catch that one. Home run. Hey, Kite, there are not too many ballparks that would have held that one. The Brewers have two righties working in the bullpen. They'll make the double switch here. Magruder will come off the bench to bat in the pitcher spot while the pitcher will hit six. Here's Paul Konerko. Takes a tailing fastball. Tell you, partner, I'm not sure that that batter would have touched that curveball even if we would have tried to swing it. He belts this one, going back, way back, and it bounces up against the wall. He's out on an easy play. He really doesn't make a very good throw here, but lucky for him, his teammate picks him up and makes a play on it. To the plate with a single already in the game, Aaron Rowan. Line drive right to the shortstop. That'll do it for the White Sox in the seventh. It's time for the seventh inning stretch. Okay, right-handed hitters have trouble really seeing off-speed stuff from right-handed pitchers. Let's see if that's the case here. Stepping in, one for two, Wes Helms. Base hit to lead off the inning. Oh, that's good hand speed right there. He just rolled his wrist right through it. Base hit. Oh, that's sweet. A ball would allow a single to score a run. Let's see if the skipper agrees. Change it just floated in there. Fakes the bunt. Pitch misses. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. Ground ball pulled to the left side. He goes into second hard. That's the fifth double play of the game for Milwaukee. The second baseman did a fantastic job there with that runner barreling into him to get a good throw off to complete two. Magruder is up next. Swings through a fastball and misses. And that evens the count. Up the middle. He's on first with a hit. Another hit given up by Police. Stepping in, Russell Brannion. Nice fastball right there. Good velocity, good placement. See you later. That could be trouble. He's on with a base hit. Kai, base running's like everything else. You've got to anticipate to be good at it. The runner on first anticipated a single, got it, and he moves right around the third easily. Coming to the plate, Junior Spivey. He may have been injured on the play. Cook and I certainly wish him the best. He's thrown his last pitch in this game. Marte comes in to try to provide some relief. There's a close pitch called a ball. The catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took the heater for a ball. He hits the pitch to right. That ends the inning with two men left on base.
Well, the hitter just put too much loft on that ball, partner, giving the fielder ample time to stroll over and make the out. After seven, the White Sox lead by two. Stepping in one for three, Joe Creedy. It's a line drive. That's a leadoff single. The White Sox have someone up in the bullpen. Stepping in one for three, Jermaine Dye. Laid off that one for a ball. He hits the pitch to left. Catch made by Lee. Takes a pitch high. They need to get that runner in scoring position. This is a good time to lay down a bunt. He hits the pitch to right. A little too early, and he pulls it foul. Swings through a fastball and misses. Pierzynski misses it, strike three. Sometimes you just got to make a good pitch, and that was one of them. Big K right there, partner. The next batter is Willie Harris. You better not let this guy get on base. He will run you to death. He's got super wheels. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. And with that, the side is retired. Heading into the bottom of the eighth, the score is 6-4. to four. The White Sox turn it over to the pen. Hermanson is coming out of the pen. At bat with one home run, Lyle Overbay. Pitch taken for a ball. Foul ball off his foot. There's the tying run on deck. One ball, two strikes. He hits it to right. And the catch is made for the out. Digging in, Carlos Lee. He hits it to center. Posednik reels it in. Well, Kai, if he had a good pitch to hit, he just didn't get good wood on it. The fielder made an easy play. Stepping in, one for two, Jeff Jenkins. The bat went through the zone. Kai, I'm surprised he didn't say anything to the umpire about the call. There's no way he went around. Takes a pitch high. Swing and a drive into center field. That's a two-bagger. Batters at this level will turn mis-executed pitches into hits all the time. Next set to play, Chad Moeller. Pitch taken for a ball. The 1-0 pitch by Hermanson. Moeller takes that one for ball two. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's what you saw with that fastball. I didn't think he would get to that one. Great play. With one inning left, the score is 6-4. to four. Glode is the hitter. It's the last inning, and it's still anybody's ball game.
pitch misses, says the umpire. But like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. But so far, the batters are taking these pitches. The count is square at 2-2. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Full count here. And the delivery. He just missed it. Base hit to lead off the inning. The White Sox have someone loosening up in the bullpen. Hey, look at the right here now. Up no, next, no. Scott Pesednik. Well, the manager may be trying to stay out of double play here, and based on that, he'll call for a sacrifice bunt. Just missed. Just not getting much on his fastball out there right now. The Brewers have a right-hander up in the bullpen. Slide into second. Nice job by the shortstop to stay in there and get the double play. Now With one home run already, here's Juan Uribe. Jenkins makes the routine catch. Going into the bottom of the ninth, the score is six to four. Bringing in the righty right here is a good move because right-handed hitters can have trouble picking up his breaking pitches. Up next with two singles in the game, Wes Helms. Taken for a ball. Pardon, that's what you call a purpose pitch. Try to make the other guy chase one. Pitch taken for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Kipe, he had to be looking for another pitch. That looked really hittable. They've got the tying run in the on-deck circle. He goes down looking. Strike one. Oh. Misses. Catcher set up on the corner, but the batter showed a good eye and took a heater for a ball. Oh. Heater down low for a ball. Kind of looks to me like he's starting to lose command of his fastball. Hit the other. Makes the diving stop. They got him. He's looking for his second hit of the day. You can tell by looking at his swing that he looks way more comfortable batting left-handed. Went fishing and came up empty. Kite, that is how every pitcher wants to end the game. Burley is the winner. The loss is charged to Ben Sheets. Shingo Takatsu picks up the save. Final score, the Chicago White Sox, six, Milwaukee.